Goldenrod Water Detector Operation Video The standard configuration of Goldenrod Water Detector includes Goldenrod Water Detector, electrodes, a backpack bag, a charger, etc. Before use, first connect the Goldenrod Water Detector to the wireless intelligent control host or a mobile phone. Press and hold the power button to turn it on and wait for the indicator light to flash. A flashing BT light indicates Bluetooth mode is waiting for connection, while a flashing WF light indicates Wi-Fi mode is waiting for connection. Press the WFBT button to switch between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi modes. The LUET OTH connection method. A flashing BT light indicates the current mode is Bluetooth. In the I Do Water app, tap connection mode, select Bluetooth connection. and tap search. Find the corresponding instrument model, tap pair. After successful pairing, it will display device Bluetooth connected. Tap confirm to automatically jump to the instrument settings interface. At this time, the BT light is on steadily, indicating the connection is completed. Wi-Fi connection method. A flashing WF light indicates the current mode is Wi-Fi. In the I Do Water app, tap Connection Mode, select Wi-Fi Connection, tap Turned on the Wi-Fi Hotspot, and tap to set up WLA and Hotspot. Set the network name to the model name of Goldenrod. The model name can be found on the side of the Goldenrod switch end. The password is 88South. Tap Save. Turn on the WLA and hotspot, return to the APP main interface, tap connection mode again, select Wi-Fi connection, and it will automatically jump to the instrument settings interface. At this time, the WF light on the golden rod is on steadily, indicating the connection is completed. In the instrument settings interface, set measurement parameters according to actual conditions. Set Depth Gap Mode, and set Start Depth and End Depth. After setting, tap Settings to jump to the new measurement interface. Name the project name, set Set the current measurement line and line spacing, tap Confirm to jump to the measurement interface. When using online measurement mode, carry the mobile phone or wireless intelligent control host and the golden rod to the first measurement point. Place the golden rod at the measurement point and tap the data collection button on the APP to collect data at the current point. After collection, Move to the second measurement point. Place the golden rod at the second point. And tap the measure button to collect data at the second point. And so on. Move to the next point at equal distances and repeat the above measurement operations to complete data collection for the entire survey line. After measurement, tap to read data to access all collected point data. Then tap Auto Draw to generate a map on site for analyzing underground conditions. When using offline measurement mode, only carry the golden rod. Go to the first measurement point and place the golden rod at the measurement point. Tap the measurement button on the golden rod. A flashing green light indicates data collection is in progress. When you hear a beep and the green light is on steadily, it indicates the measurement at the current point is completed. Then move to the second measurement point. Place the golden rod at the second point. And tap the measure button to collect data at the second point. 
and so on. Move to the next point at equal distances and repeat the above measurement operations to complete data collection for the entire survey line. After measurement, reconnect the golden rod to the mobile phone or host. Tap New Measurement and enter the measurement page with the same default parameters as before. Tap to read data to access all collected point data. Then tap Auto Draw to generate a map on site for analyzing underground conditions.